This component, another component is called uh, honeybee decompose based on type. Honeybee decompose based on type, you can, I will disconnect it from here so that you can uh, see how it works. I will also disconnect this. So now we will take it and hook it up, hook up the honeybee zones into honeybee zones. So you can you can check your zones if they are correct or not. Uh, maybe uh, you can use, for example, let's use uh, uh, red color and try to turn in this again so that you can see the building uh, outlines. Uh, this is called a uh, B-Rep wireframe. You can bring it uh, in your canvas and uh, use uh, the pipe and adjust the uh, radius of the pipe so that you can see an illustration uh, for the outline of your form. And here I will remove this one. Also, I will preview of this. Uh, here you can check that all your elements uh, are read in a good way. So here are the walls, which is uh, which are the external walls. So here we have the interior walls. So there is a problem that the interior walls are not red and all the walls are considered as external walls. And here uh, comes uh, the component that solve this problem, which is called solve adjacencies. Uh, you need to hook up the honeybee zones into the honeybee zones and then uh, true to find adjacencies and here I will hook up the honeybee zones after the solve adjacencies. Now you can see that the adjacencies are solved. Uh, here are the external walls and this are the internal walls. So again I will show the, uh, these internal walls by hooking up the internal walls instead. And now the internal walls are shown, so let's hook up the windows. The windows are not shown. Uh, why? Because we haven't assigned the windows yet. So the windows are assigned here. We have uh, this component called honeybee uh, glazing based on ratio. And this component, we assign uh, the honeybee uh, uh, windows and actually we have uh, another component which is called honeybee glazing uh, parameters uh, list and we we hook up the glazing parameter list here in the glazing ratio and we uh, turn this into true if you want to run it uh, so here break up windows if you make this true you will have the windows uh, breaked in different to different uh, windows instead of having just one uh, window for each uh, zone. Uh, so here you can turn it into uh, false again. And uh, we, we have here, we can choose the window height. Uh, and the default is, as you can see here, the default is set to two meters. And here we have the seal height and its default is also set to 0.8 meters and we have uh, the, the uh, uh, there is uh, another options other options we have the EP constructions and we also have uh, brought uh, the EB construction from the materials which I will show you now uh, how to do it so now we have the windows um, we can actually uh, uh, change any of these uh, parameters for example if you want the sill height to be one meter you can we can use one and hook it up the seal height. And this will change 
uh, the default number assigned by Honeybee. Uh, here we have uh, fixed the window to wall ratio, but what if we wanted to create uh, different uh, uh, parameters uh, or different uh, values for the window to wall ratio in the, the different orientations? So we can make uh, the list instead contains 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7, for example, and OK. Um, of course, you can make uh, different uh, dynamic parameters uh, for each of the facades. Here I will list uh, item. I will choose this uh, list and hook up uh, the items in all facades in order to uh, minimize the calculation time, not have, uh, not have a lot of uh, uh, values um, for um, the dynamic parameters. And so here we have this list and we can use um, this, uh, so as to hook it up in uh, Octopus. So I will here choose to have edit, right click and edit. And here the maximum number is going to be uh, two. So we can change it from, uh, uh, from uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 and so on. Uh, another important uh, thing I want to tell you about is um, uh, in the honeybee masses uh, to zones, which is, is conditioned. It means that do you want uh, your building to be naturally ventilated uh, or it has uh, an AC? So uh, the default is set to be uh, uh, that it has, uh, uh, has uh, uh, an AC. So uh, as you can see here, if no value is connected here, all zones will be conditioned with an ideal air loads uh, system. So after this, we will use again the Honeybee solve adjacencies after uh, assigning the windows. And again, I will check by Honeybee decompose by And now you can see that uh, 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 that uh, the type of uh, the windows type is now clear, and the building is uh, uh, read well. Now here also you can check for the floors and uh, for the ground floors because this is a ground floor, the one in the bottom. And now we are sure that uh, this model is read in a good way.